Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome this afternoon to this uh, amazing broadcast. And uh, I am confident that your life and my life will never be the same again. Today is February 22nd. And 2019, it's been 2019 years since the Lord departed. And again, he's still here. This is the year of the Lord's favor. Welcome, everyone. The Lord has been putting a message in my heart, and I am confident that today, after this message, your life and my life will never be the same again. Today I'm going to talk about the wall of fire. A wall is something that every house needs to have. It marks a territory. It marks an area where no trespass is allowed. But the wall that I'm about to talk here is a spiritual wall. It's, a, it's, a, it's the wall of God. It's, it's, it's the wall of fire. The wall that God himself, Jesus Christ himself, is going to place on your wall. So today I'm going to read on the book of, uh, I'm going to read on Zechariah chapter 2, verse 1 all the way to 5. And let's see what Jesus Christ is saying. So I'm going to read an NLT version. And um, I'm reading in the name of Jesus Christ. When I looked again, I saw a man with a measuring line in his hand. Where are you going? I asked. He replied, I am going to measure Jerusalem to see how wide and how long it is. Then the angel who was with me went to meet a second angel who was coming toward him. The other, the other angel said, hurry and say to that young man, Jerusalem will someday be so full of people and livestock that there won't be room enough for everyone. Many will live outside the city walls. Verse 5. Then I myself will be a protective wall of fire around Jerusalem, says the Lord, and I will be the glory inside the city. My God, my God. I'm going to repeat verse 5. Jesus Christ is saying, Then I myself will be a protective wall of fire around Jerusalem, says the Lord. And I will be glory inside the city. My God, my God. So, Jesus Christ is saying, He Himself will be the wall of fire. A lot of people who don't have Jesus Christ, their things are being plundered. Their things are being stolen. Their, you know... Um, whatever they have, health, care, health, jobs, family, marriage, relationships, children, you know, uh, ministry, whatever you plant, it will be taken away if you don't have Jesus Christ. And this, and in this picture, Jesus Christ is, is giving Zechariah, prophet Zechariah, and he's speaking to him, he's saying, I myself will be a wall of fire. So, so everything you do in your life, I, I will be, I will be surrounding your, 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 your life. I'll be surrounding, I will surround your house. I will surround you and I will cover your health. I will cover your family. I will cover your job. I will cover everything, all your possessions with this wall of fire. And nothing will be able to penetrate inside it. No insects, nothing, human beings or non-human beings, nothing will be able to penetrate in this wall of fire. My God, my God. This is super protection, powerful protection 
There's, there's nothing like it in this world. There's nothing like it in this, in this universe. Jesus Christ himself becomes the wall of fire. And not just the wall of fire, but he himself becomes the glory inside it. That means inside it, everything will be glorified, will be glowing. Everything will be light. Your health will be light. Your job will be light. Your house will be light. Your relationships will be light. Your ministry will be light. Everything will be glory. He said, I myself will be glory inside it. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord people. Jesus Christ himself will be the my God. So he is the wall of fire and the glory inside. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. This this is this is amazing. So so you your body is the temple of God. God lives inside your heart. And the Lord also is on your right hand. He's, he's your everything. He's there to guide you and protect you. He's there to purify your heart. To cleanse you with his blood. Every single second. He's cleaning you and, and protecting you. My God. So Jesus Christ starts protection from, from your heart, from your soul, from your body. And all your earthly material possessions, everything, wherever you put your hands into it, it will be successful. It will prosper. Lord, my God. Lord, have mercy on us. And so for people who don't have Jesus Christ, they don't have this protection. You and me are naturally protected into with Jesus Christ. He is inside us. He is living inside us. We are inside him and he's inside us. And not just us, our relatives, our family, our friends, our, 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 our houses, our children, everything. Everything will be will be protected with this wall of fire of Jesus Christ. 24-7, 365 days a year. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God. Protection. This is divine protection. Nothing, nothing like it before. This is this is un, un, unheard of. The wall of fire. And even you yourself, when you walk, oh my God, my when you walk, you're you're literally a walking fire. Oh my God. When your children walk, they are a wall of fire. Your house is a wall of fire. Everything around you is fire. And Jesus Christ himself is the glory inside you. My God, my God. Holy Spirit is, is, is powerful. When he gave me this, this, this scripture, my God, when I read it, I was like... Lord have mercy. This is this is powerful. You can't put price to the things of God. The things of God are, are un you can't put a price to it. So I am walking down the street and I'm a wall of fire. And my children are walking down the street and they're surrounded by the wall of fire. Fire inside them. Fire up. My God, my God. Let's read it again. Verse 5, then I myself will be a protective wall of fire around Jerusalem. So what is Israel? Israel is you. Jerusalem is you. Jesus Christ is inside you. So you, you, you are the little Israel. And Jerusalem is inside you. And Jesus Christ lives inside you. He's inside your heart. And he's at your right hand. You know, he's your shade. He's the water. He's the air you breathe. He's the rock that gives water. He's the water in the desert. He's, he's the bread of life. My God, my God. He's the light of the world. When you walk in darkness, he's the light of the world. And so everywhere you walk, it's light. Every, everywhere you walk, your foot. My God, my God. It's light everywhere. Everywhere. 
your path will be shining brighter and brighter because the light of the world is inside you. The light of the world. My God, my God. People see, when they see you, they, they don't see you. They see the light of the world. That's why you meet people and they're like, oh, you, you're amazing. You're this, you're that. They don't see you. It's because they see the anointing in you. They don't see you. They see Jesus Christ in you. My God, my God. So let's let's read um, to go to chapter 12, verse 8. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is powerful stuff. Um, Zechariah chapter 12 verse 8 and the Lord says on that day the Lord will defend the people of Jerusalem my God my God so you are Israel you are Jerusalem on that day the Lord will defend the people of Jerusalem the weakest among them will be as mighty as King David my God my God the weakest will be the mightiest, like King David. My God. And the royal descendants will be like God. Like the angel of the Lord who goes before them. On that day, I will, dis I will begin to destroy the nation that, co that come against Jerusalem. So everything you are in your life will be... God, everything about you, inside, outside, your, your house itself will be God. When you move, you yourself, when you move, you're like the angel of God. It's like, it's, it's, it's amazing. When, you, when the angel of the Lord is moving, he is like fire, consuming fire, tearing apart all the wickedness, all evil. And he say, in verse 8, he say, Oh my God! Let's let's read. He said, "On that day, I will begin to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Anybody trying to come against you, in any way, shape, or form, they will be completely destroyed. This this is the benefit of the servant of the Lord. My God! My God!" So I hope today I've shared some things with you that um, about the wall of fire, which is one of the benefits of it being a servant of the Lord. And, and it's, it's, it's one of the extended benefits of, of, of thousands of promises that God gave us and, and, and uh, thousands of blessings. And um, I have enjoyed the wall of fire you know, of the Lord Jesus Christ everywhere I went, every corner of the world, everywhere I have went, I've really enjoyed it. He has surrounded me with this wall of fire and protected me from all my enemies. Everybody who tried to come against me was crushed. My God, by God. When I look back, I'm like, Jesus, you are amazing. So it's not easy doing protection on your own don't go hire security guards we have God's protection and the only way you can get it is it's very simple is if you give your life to Jesus Christ and make sure you have the personal relationship with him um, you will be like his angel you will be the angel of the Lord walking literally walking on earth my God my God so many people will be blessed because of you. When you walk around, people get healed. People, people who are sick, people feel, feel peace around you. People naturally gravitate towards you. They, they look at you and say, surely the Lord is with you. The only way to enjoy these, these benefits of our great Lord is for you to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. That you yourself, you can't do anything by yourself. And it's only by the Lord's help. And, uh, and, and and your life will never be the same again. It's very easy. The moment you finish confessing, you become light. And, 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 the, and Jesus Christ comes and lives inside of you. And, and it's the gift that no one can take away from you. 
So today, just repeat after me these simple, beautiful words, amazing words that I've been using all my life. Dear Lord Jesus, I humbly come before you. Today I've realized that I cannot do anything on my own. You are my creator. You are my master. You are everlasting. You have no beginning and no ending. Father, I try to use my own efforts and do things on my own by my own might and power. And today I've decided to surrender my life to you. I give my life to you, dear Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I want to have a special relationship with you. Come into my heart. Be the Lord and, and the Savior of my life. Guide me. Protect me. Lead me. Wash me with your blood, Jesus. Sanctify me. Clean me. Purify my heart. Make me whole. Make me brand new. From today, I'm all yours. I'm all yours, Lord Jesus. Lead me. Take me as yours. Wipe away my name in the book of, of darkness and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my life. From today, I will be, I will be saving you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Uh, thank you for this amazing, amazing Bible study this afternoon. May God continue to bless you. Continue to have a daily relationship with Jesus Christ every second, every hour, every minute. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May the Lord cover you all with the blood of Jesus. And uh, may everything you do prosper and be covered with the wall of fire. Like Jesus promised, he will cover everything with the wall of fire. And may he cover everything in your lives with the wall of fire. And let no insects, locusts, canker and palm oil eat your vine, your, your grapes, your fruits. May they be divinely protected. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless everyone.